when a patient shows up in the emergency room breathing at a much faster rate than normal, it could potentially be a major red flag. This is something every respiratory therapist needs to instantly recognize. But what exactly are the causes of this kind of rapid breathing? Do you know what they are? Well, if not, no worries because this video breaks down a practice question and explanation of this very topic. So, if you're ready, let's get into the question. A 51-year-old female presents to the emergency department with a spontaneous respiratory rate of 36 breaths per minute. Which of the following is the most likely cause of this abnormal respiratory pattern? A decreased CO2 production, B, metabolic acidosis, C, therapeutic hypothermia, or D, CNS depression. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. A respiratory rate of 36 breaths per minute in an adult is classified as tachypnea, which is defined as an abnormally high breathing rate. Tachypnea is often a compensatory response to various physiological disturbances and is frequently seen in critically ill patients. To answer this question correctly, you need to understand what triggers an increased respiratory drive. Some of the most common causes of tachypnea include fever, arterial hypoxemia, pain or anxiety, an increased metabolic rate, and metabolic acidosis, such as seen in diabetic ketoacidosis or lactic acidosis where the body attempts to eliminate excess hydrogen ions by blowing off CO2 through rapid breathing. And now let's evaluate the answer choices. Option A is incorrect because if CO2 production decreases, the drive to breathe is reduced, potentially resulting in hypoventilation, not tachypnea. Option C is also incorrect because hypothermia slows metabolic activity, including CO2 production, leading to a decreased respiratory rate, not an increased one. Option D is also incorrect because central nervous system depression typically results in bradypnea or apnea, not hyperventilation. And that leaves option B. Metabolic acidosis, which is a classic cause of tachypnea. The lungs attempt to compensate for the acid base imbalance by hyperventilating, which helps lower the PaCO2 and raise the pH. So, the key takeaway for this question is this When you see a patient with tachypnea, always consider metabolic acidosis as a potential cause especially when other symptoms of respiratory distress or acid-based disturbance are present. It's one of the body's primary compensatory responses to correct low blood pH. So by breaking down the question and all the answer choices, we could determine that the correct answer has to be B, metabolic acidosis. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test page. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more, including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel and there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.